we've waited so long for this Justice League movie. I'll get near the end. Can't wait to see what happens. Oh, I can just watch the rest of it later. I mean, it's not like there's going to be fan backlash that gets the movie changed, right? Hey, everybody. It's Bill from MattTracker.com, and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. If you haven't been following along, um, thank you to everybody who has helped support the site and the channel so far. Your donations have been great. I, I, I wasn't expecting what I've seen so far and I appreciate it so much. If you wanna to donate to help me get this channel to grow, get some better hardware, um, maybe bring on some more people to work with some of this stuff, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to look into building it outward and I need your help doing so because I want to keep Mask alive and I want you to be a part of it and I can't do it alone. There's a donate button or support us button right on the website, matchtracker.com. I'll have a link in the description as well. And for upcoming episodes, I'm looking for fan submissions. You can submit on the website uh, under the community tab and there's fan submissions and I'll have a link in the description. I want to see your collection. I want to see a customization. Send me your memories of mask, your, you know, anything mask related that you want to share. Keep it PG and I'm going to put it in a future episode. I'm not going to review what you're telling me or giving me. I'm just going to show it to show that you're out there and that you want mask to stay alive. So thank you for that as well. And in this episode, speaking of keeping mask alive, damn. That's BG. Kerouac, um, lately, if you don't know who he is by now in the mask community, he created Mask 85 and 86. You can read those at matchtracker.com and a few other websites. Uh, a really great article uh, came out with an interview uh, with Caro. I'll post that in the description. And I'll also be talking to that author of that article um, in the near future. But he one day saw a picture of me on Facebook and decided to turn me into a mask agent. And here's the, here's the picture here. Um, I was at a Phillies game with my dad and my brother and they had this ridiculous looking Philly fanatic headband. So I bought it for my dad and he wouldn't, he wouldn't wear it. So I put it on first and then he eventually put it on. It was kind of funny to see my dad, you know, joking around like that. He doesn't do that that often. Um, so Kiara saw it and it turned me into a mask agent, the fanatic, basically I'm fanatic about mask, if you get the correlation. Um, and then later on, I made a joke. I was like, hey, how about some legs? <laughs> um, and it kind of it kind of turned to some really cool stuff. Um, there's a group of us that do a lot of chatting back and forth and Kara decided to Maskify, I don't know if he has an exact term yet, but maskify uh, some of us. Um, and I wanted to go over what we have here because they're, they really are a true work of art. And you know, you get a backstory um, and things of that nature. And Caro is taking commissions on these. I'll have his Twitter page in the description. So if you want him to turn you into a mask agent, get in touch with him. i will definitely help you out with that. So this is, again, this is kind of the starting point, I think, from his crazy vision here of doing this. And then we had a full one for me, um, like a, with an agent profile and everything. So it has the, the mass, you know, the match tracker logo, it has my legs finally, so I can go dancing, I guess, right? It shows the agent, with the um, the mask on, and it gives the agent name Bill Ferris, and the code name Philly, and the mask fanatic. So it's it's funny in that sense, like how it ties in. And um, <laughs> he wrote the bio and the vehicle. So the the vehicle is Billboard Blast Copilot, and it it's an inside joke with the channel. So if you don't know why. Um, I appreciated that. I got a really, <laughs> when I first read it, I, I think I was actually tearing up a little bit. I was laughing so hard. So 
Uh, but the bio, Agent Ferris is considered by teammates to be the heart of Mask. Passionate and determined, there's nothing he wouldn't do to keep Mask alive. He's known for keeping calm under pressure and his knowledge of computers. So that's a pretty cool little bio right there. The bios that other agents would have had, you know, Bruce Sato, Matt Tracker, et cetera. So when I got this, it was just like, it was, you know, it was so cool. I got it printed out right over here. Um, and it was really cool to see. Like it, it shows you that Mask is still alive. So there's other ones too, I wanna, I wanna get to them. And you can see all these, by the way, the ones that I'm showing here, um, they'll be on uh, the, the website, Kerouac, and I'm just gonna call it Maskified. If he wants to change the terminology, you can let me know. Um, that's where they'll be at. So the next one here, we have, we have Wes from Mad Mask. Now Wes does a lot of really cool customization work. And he's the one who sent me the mass computers that, that I'm doing on the giveaways. Um, he's building me a uh, mask transport plane that is the size of my house and sending it to me. I might just live in it, I think, but <laughs> I can't wait to get it. But you can see his profile here. Um, you know, he's got his name, his code name is Madman, uh, you know, based off the, the name Mad Mask. Uh, his mask is 3D <laughs> and his vehicle is giant transport plane. Bio, the, this Venom agent is known to create havoc and chaos wherever he goes. Some call him a mad genius and mask agents are always aware when he's around, known to operate on little to no sleep. That's fair. I don't think Wes does sleep. <laughs> So that's one here. That's a cool one. Get to the next one here. Where's my, where's my arrow at? And we have Lisa, who I did um, behind a mask with. Uh, she writes fanfics. And there's a one of her friends, Darcy, who also writes fanfics as well as in this grouping. But um, Lisa, her code name is Sidekick. Uh, mask is Grill Master in the vehicle as Gator co-pilot. Agent Grunewald is an asset to the mass team as she always sees the bright side of things even when Venom seemingly has the upper hand. Her mass grill master, <coughs> excuse me, grill master is perfectly suited for the heat of battle and it's sure to make it even hotter. It's kind of funny. That's, that's, that's Lisa's right there. And I know she has her printed out in her office at home. We'll get the Karo's, the one on himself too, in a minute. And here's Darcy's. Her code name is Country. The mask is Twang, and her vehicle is Piranha Copilot. Short in stature and patience, Darcy is one member of Venom you don't want to see in your rearview mirror. Her mask, Twang, emits sounds that are sure to drive the mask team mad, except maybe Dusty. Like her beloved cats, she believes she will ha she has nine lives, but will take yours before she spares one of hers. That's a pretty cool Venom esque um, bio right there on for Darcy's. Who else do we have here? Let's see. Who else do we have in our list? Okay. One moment, everybody. Uh, here's a couple that we might recognize. For those of you who don't know, uh, there are other mask websites out there. And this is Jason from Agents of Mask. And we also have Wyatt coming up as well. And the funny thing is that when, when RetroCon can actually come about again, I, I think the three of us are gonna have to find a way to make these costumes uh, when we go. So, We'll have to get together and work on that somehow. But here's Jason, codename Retro. His mask is Ghetto Blaster and Vehicle Frontier. Agent Gross has proven to be a real headache 
for the mask team, and that's no metaphor. His mask, Ghetto Blaster, shoots deafening audio waves, which leaves Tracker's team discombobulated. If Retro is on the scene, you can bet that Venom most likely has the upper hand. I like that. That's a that's a really really well thought out bio, and I, I love the color design on this too. And you wouldn't think it. You know, like I'm not I'm not gonna like review the the colors or the the outfits or anything like that. But that one green patch, like on the shoulder, I just I love how it stands out. I don't I don't know why this does, but he looks he looks very venom esque in this picture. He's ready to go, and then we got we got Mr. Wyatt. From Agents of Mask. Just gotta zoom in a little bit here so I can read it. Wyatt, his code name is Wonder. Mask is Ampro, and vehicle is Phoenix. Uh, Wyatt's Mask Ampro has become a favorite among the Mask team, not only because it's because its ability to tap into audio frequencies within 10 miles makes it considerably easier to anticipate Venom's next move, but because in a pinch, it can send out an emergency transmission. So even if Mask doesn't, <clears throat> doesn't get the jump on Venom, they know help will soon be on the way. That's a, and I'm always a fan of orange. So kudos on that one there, sir. Looking good, guys. We'll get to work on these. We'll have to do a Zoom thing where we're all working and show holding up our progress. <laughs> um, um, we'll have to probably get our kids to help us. <laughs> Although I don't think mine would be much help at this point. And we have a few celebrities in the mix as well. Now there are other commissions out there, but like I said earlier, I don't, I didn't have permission to show them. So I'm not going to, but um, they are really cool and true to form and true to the style what we're looking at here. But we do have a couple ones that he did for fun, essentially, um, based off of some celebrities. So one, we have Elvis Presley here. And for those of you who don't know who that Elvis Presley is, I'm sorry, not a fan of his music, but you should know who he is. Codenamed Hound Dog, Mask Sideburner, a vehicle of pink Cadillac. Yeah, I can, I can see that. As a, as a badge carrying member of the Bureau of Drug Abuse Control, Agent Presley is an invaluable asset to the mask team. A world famous entertainer, his access to all points of the globe has proven to be advan advantageous. Whoa, I didn't know you knew words like that. I had to do a double take to make sure I, I was like, oh man, okay, uh, in the fight against Venom. And I love the outfit. And you know, the funny thing is, like, you could have, there's, <laughs> I still think Hondo's Hurricane 2 outfit, Hurricane outfit is more ridiculous than like some of the Vegas ones that Elvis had. So that's, that's something to keep in mind and is very sad. <laughs> we also have Norma Jean, well, goes by Marilyn Monroe, if you didn't know. Uh, her code name is Diamond, mask is Itch, shark co-pilot. Agent Jean has, has a history of lighting up the silver screen and more recently a habit of lighting up the forces of venom. Her mask itch has been known to drive her enemies wild. <laughs> While she believes diamonds are forever, she thinks that thanks to mask, the mask team venom won't be. It's clever, I like that one. There is Marilyn Monroe. And we have a sports celebrity in the house here. Mr. Shaquille O'Neal, which I don't know how you fit him inside the, this bounding box. Codename Diesel. He actually had a, like a lot of, I think he had a couple different nicknames he gave himself to. Um, but Diesel was definitely one of them. Um, I would have loved it to be Kazam because that movie is brilliant. <laughs> as good as the video games. Um, Mask Tiger. Vehicle slingshot co-pilot. Agent O'Neill is, is a proven winner and a natural fit for the mass team. His determination and desire to succeed are evident each time he hits the battlefield. The way he dominates Venom is early is eerily similar to how he once dominated the NBA. So this is a retired Shaquille O'Neal. So 
And then last but not least, let's look at the man himself, it's Kerouac, holding a golf club, looks like a putter. So we have codename Caddy, mask four, exclamation point. I'm not yelling it. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. Um, vehicle Boulder Hill anti-aircraft anti anti turret. So while everybody else is like out doing stuff, you're just sitting around. Clever. That's clever. Agent Wack has... <laughs> Agent Wack has abandoned many golf rounds before he was through in order to join the mass team in action. Known for keeping things light even during the darkest hours and his love for buffalo wings, recently a few agents have taken him to task for leaving fast food wrappers inside the hidden cannon atop Boulder Hill. Monster. So you have it. Maskified. Patent pending. I wanted you to see these because I love them all. I love I love the passion and the desire. And I just love that this is happening and that people are able to reach out to, to Caro and get a commission if needed um, to get yourself you know turned into a mask agent. So again, if you want to do that. Um, link in the description for his Twitter page. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to help keep Mask alive. And until next time, this is Bill from thattracker.com, and I'll talk to you later.